Hey everybody, it's JJNS with the Slash and Mini Network. Now, I have a very special presentation for you. And I guess you could also add it as a little bit of an expose report. I recently got inspired by some YouTube videos that I've seen online, and some of the videos that I've seen have really, really piqued my interest. Now, what it is, is people have been dumpster diving in GameStop's dumpsters. Now, I'm sure you've seen people dumpster, dumpster dive for, say, food scraps or little trinkets, knickknacks, this, that, the other thing, clothing, and maybe some electronics that they could possibly fix. But here, these people, as I said, are dumpster diving in GameStop's dumpsters, and they're finding games and all kinds of other things. Now, I personally did this, and needless to say, I was kind of surprised by what I found. Now, before I get to what I found, we need to figure out why would GameStop do this? Yes, they, they're a used game industry powerhouse, and I guess they can figure they can get away with it. Now, when they get rid of the games or the systems, as far as I knew, they would report these things as damaged and they would possibly send it back to a warehouse to have it properly disposed of. But no. People are actually finding physical games in the dumpsters. People are finding video game systems in the dumpsters and I'm very surprised by this I mean when you throw something out usually you have to properly dispose of it be it CDs batteries uh, videotapes and what have you and cardboard paper plastic this that and the other they usually have their own little special places you know to be thrown out. But why would an industry like GameStop think they could just go out and, I guess you could say, pollute the earth like this? Because this is just going to go in a landfill. It, it, it's just beyond fathomable. It, but in the end, I guess you could say for me and others that have done the dumpster diving in GameStop's dumpsters, there's a treasure trove of things. I mean, of course, when you go, you're not going to find things every single time. You're going to find games that don't even work. But if you need a game case, you never know. You might find one that's going to be useful for you. And more often than not, you're going to find a broken system. But how broken are they? Of course, you're not going to know until you bring it home and find out. Now, I guess I could show you what I found. And many of you may be surprised, many of you may not be. But I, I was quite personally surprised at what I found. I made two separate trips. And this happened earlier last week. One, one trip was earlier this week, and my apologies, one trip was earlier last week and one during midweek last week. Now, I found a few games and a couple of other things. I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on the couple of other things, but first off, I'll go over the games that I found. The first game I found was Backyard Wrestling 2, There Goes the Neighborhood. I mean, you really can't quite see any of the damage that's on the disc, but it's quite apparent when you actually look at it. And it's not too bad. This game, it works. It works totally. Then I found Grand Theft Auto 3. Very great game, by the way. And looking at it, it's not too bad. I, I've played it a bit, but I don't know if there's going to be any freezing issues with it later on. 
Then we have Gran, Gran Turismo 3A spec. The damage on here, it's not... it It's kind of crappy, actually. I mean, I, I, I wish you guys could see the condition of these games. But, unfortunately, my camera's not all that great. Then we have... Smackdown vs. Raw 2006. This game I actually found in its case. Unfortunately, it don't have the manual, but it's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I mean, black label case, but greatest hits disc. And this one... It, it, it's got one of those rings around the disc that just makes it look like it will not work. And I was actually expecting to throw this out. But, surprisingly, it works. I, I did some extensive testing with this game because I love the Tony Hawk series. It, it, it's just wonderful. It's an all-time favorite. And, yeah. I really wish you guys could see this ring. Actually, yeah. it If you look up in your right hand corner and you see that little ring going around it actually covers the entire disc yeah it's kinda of ridiculous but it works surprisingly then I found some original Xbox games and these two that I found they were actually complete we have Fusion Frenzy here that's a Platinum Hits version and it's got the manual complete. Wow, how about that? A color manual. You don't see that every day. But, once again, I said I wish you guys could see the condition of these discs. But, the Xbox games, they're, they're in mint condition. Why would they throw these out? I'm, I'm flabbergasted. It, 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 it. It blows my mind that they would throw money away. I mean, yes, okay, it's GameStop. They, they're going to do things like that, but come on, man. They, 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 there could be that one person that wants Fusion Frenzy, and especially in a complete package, you know? Then we have Corvette. I, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm not too familiar with Fusion Frenzy either, but I wasn't really too familiar with this game either. I mean, it, it's just your basic racing game. But, it, complete manual disc, and I'll say it again, I wish you could see the condition of this disc. It, it, it's immaculate. I mean, there's a couple of little fingerprints on here, but there's not even one single scratch. I mean, yeah, you, you put it out on the shelf and you price it up for a buck, but jeez, I mean, may maybe it's because they don't sell the Xbox games anymore, I mean, it, at least at the stores that I have in my area, but they could at least still sell it online, jeez, come on, give me a break, I mean, then there's, then there's the whole factor of throwing these things out in the rubbish, as I said earlier, I mean, Environment, if environmentalists got their hands on this kind of stuff, they could make such a huge scene o over on GameStop. I mean, it would be a media frenzy. I mean, it, it it's just nuts. But the great thing here is, is you could also do your part. If you're a cheap ass gamer like me, I mean, I, I'm I'm broke most every week, and I don't have money to go out and buy these games all the time. I don't have the money to go out and buy the game that just released. You know, I I wish I could, but it, it's only like every other month that I can, maybe not even that, maybe every few months I can actually go out and buy a brand new game. I mean, the last brand new game I got was. Possibly, it was either L.A. Noir or Batman Arkham City, and I got those back in December. But 
I don't have any Skyrim or anything like that. I, I, I can't afford it. So when I buy my games, I gotta figure out what game am I gonna want that I know I'll spend a lot of time with. Yes, I, I could have gotten Skyrim, but that's not even the point. I, I, I have to plan and manage what I buy and when I buy it. So when I found these videos on YouTube with people dumpster diving, I figured I'd take that shot. And okay, yeah, a, a couple of the titles that I showed you, they weren't all that great. They never will be when you dumpster dive. But I lucked out on a few decent titles, and Tony Hawk, I'm definitely going to spend a lot of time with. I love, I love that series. I really do. But here's the strange thing, too. When I found those games, I also found this. It's not a first-party controller, but it's a controller, and it works. I found an Xbox 360 controller from Pelican in the dumpster. It works. I've tested it extensively on my PC. I haven't tested it on an Xbox, but I assume where it works on my laptop. It's going to work on the 360. And it works really well. I mean, the down direction on the D-pad on this thing, it, it it's a bit rough, but it still functions properly, you know? I mean, you, you don't really have to push down too hot on this thing, but it works. And the only thing that I can see wrong with this, other than the little issue with the D-pad, is the little rubber piece here. If you really look, you'll see that I got the rubber padding here, but on this one, it's actually missing. I had, Originally, the rubber padding on the stick was on here, but I switched it around because this is the part that I'm going to be using mostly. But it, it's, it's intact, it's got the USB end. You know, and I'm really surprised too because it's it's got the breakaway cord. It, I I thought it was really awesome. I I now no how longer have to use my PS3 controller to play my games on my laptop. Really great, great find. I mean, th this is something that's gonna that was that would be worth about ten fifteen bucks in store when you bought it. You know. I mean, once again, money thrown away. And it's just nuts. It, it's just amazing what you could possibly find in these dumpsters. And, yeah, you, you guys see me looking back and forth. It, it, it's because I've got such an amazing find. It, it's just yeah so I guess I might as well just show you guys I mid last week decided to take a second trip and I really wasn't expecting to find anything maybe a couple of crap games or something or maybe some cases I mean my, my main reason for Doing the uh, dumpster dive was not really to find these things, but hoping to find some useful cases. Mo mostly Nintendo DS cases so I can have a place to put my Game Boy games. But on this last trip that I made, I made such an amazing find. I... You ready? Are you sure? Alright, let's get on with it. I found a Nintendo Wii 
Yes, I found a Wii. For me, this was amazing, and I'll get to that in a moment. But not only did I find the Wii, but the AV cables intact, nothing cut. The power brick. Uncut. A Wii stand. Yeah, it, it ain't got the little circular plate for the bottom, but whatever. It, it was found in the trash. What are you going to do? A wireless sensor bar. Yeah, as you see, it's a little broken. But I'll... I'll Just wait. And a Wiimote. Not a Wii remote. A Wiimote, what it should have been called from the beginning. All the buttons click. I mean, you can't really hear them, but. And yeah, it's it's got the battery cover. It may be black, but hey, it fit. It it fits. Now, back to the shocking situation with this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found this, and I was not expecting anything to come of it. I mean, I'll, I'll first note saying that the USB ports if you notice, if you look really good, you'll you'll see that this one looks complete, whereas the other one, it it's obviously been utterly damaged. the The little black piece that's on the inside here is missing on this piece. Now, I bring this home and I test it. Yeah, I I I. Plug in the power pack for the system in the wall, and I was really surprised to see that the little light here for the power indicator, it worked. It, it, it was on. So, I decided where I noticed that it would actually turn on. I was gonna hook it up completely with with the AV cables. Now, I was really surprised that when I did this, it worked. The system works. I mean, come on, give me a break here. They take this and they throw it in the garbage. Yeah. The USB ports are busted, but don't when they take in these systems, don't don't when you go into the store and you buy yourself a used system, aren't you buying a refurbished system? I mean, the, obviously that means they're taking it, sending it out to whatever repair unit that they use to repair the systems and other damaged goods that they receive. And they come back and they're, they're they're in refurbished condition for when you buy them. But this this was just tossed out. It, it it's just kapoof. Mind blowing. You know I I, I I just can't believe this. I mean, I tested the games. I te I tested the Wii's the Wii's areas so I could play the play a Wii game. And it works. I tested the GameCube ports, threw a GameCube GameCube game in, and it worked. I mean, come on. The sensor, it, it, it's kind of garbage, but it did the trick so I could test it. And then, yeah. 
set two candles a pot, 10 inches a pot, light them up, put them on, put them above or below your TV, set it so wherever you have the candles, the candle trick works. Anyway, anyway. I have a working Wii. My girlfriend just put in the car for Amazon so we could have a sensor for this. But it works. The, the Wiimote works. The sensor works. The, all the ports work for the GameCube controller. The memory card ports work. I'm not quite sure about this. I'm not sure about the SD card slot, if it works or not. But even if it don't, who cares? The fan runs, and, and the system will run pretty cool. I just don't understand why they would take these products and just utterly throw them away. All the Wii stuff was in a single white trash bag with one of those red straps that you tie. And it was placed in the dumpster. I... I think I need a, an Excedrin. I, I, I need something for a headache. Because this is just insane. This seems to kind of show GameStop's mentality. But, I mean, like, like I said, I don't want to bag on GameStop. I, I, I don't. Because that's not what this is about. This is about people that view this video know that they can go out and dumpster dive. Yes, dumpster dive. You don't have to be poor to do that. I'm poor, but you, if you're not poor, but you want want to try your hand at it, go for it. Find your local GameStop, but I will say this, if you're going to dumpster dive, make sure it's legal in your city or town. Make sure of that, because different cities, different states, different laws, of course. It, it's, it goes, goes for the same thing everywhere. What What's right in one spot and what's right in one area isn't right in another so make sure you do your bit of research and make sure that dumpster diving is legal in your area thankfully in mine it's legal i found a wee this this is a great little find i mean yeah if this thing craps out on me it, it's it's no loss i can i can save up the money and buy myself a new one but i got a wee for free and who knows, you, you might be able to find something. I mean, you, you might even be able to find a broken Wii or a th Xbox 360 or a PS3 or any other game system that they decide that they're going to trash. And who knows, in the end, if, it's, if you decide you want to repair it, it just might be worth it, you know? You never know. But go out and try your luck with it, you know? I mean, ju just don't go out every day and do this because of course you're not going to have the same luck every single time but you definitely want to be discreet about it as well you know me I'm, I'm very happy with my finds and I'll let you in on something I plan on going dumpster diving again sometime soon not, not today considering in my city it's raining I, I'm not gonna dumpster dive and muck no yucky but if you're gonna dumpster dive one make sure it's legal in your town two make sure you're properly dressed so when you go into these dumpsters i mean wear, wear a shirt or a jacket that you know you're not really gonna care about if if it's gonna if it gets dirty uh of course wear wear some rubber gloves and Definitely, please, whatever you do when you dumpster dive in GameStop's dumpsters, 
just be wary about what could be in the bag. Not not that anyone in GameStop dumped something in there that could hurt you, but you never know what person walked by or and threw something in the dumpster. You don't want to stick or poke yourself, so be very cautious, please. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with what I found, and I hope many of you enjoyed this video. Well, I don't have anything to show you today other than what I showed you just a few moments ago, but definitely, definitely check it out, all right? Well, hopefully one day I'll be back again with some new GameStop dumpster dives. GameStop dumpster dive items, all right? Everybody have a good one. Jay Janess with the Slash and Mini Network, out.